So now we're at potting? Yeah, so this is the uh, wax potting process. Um, what this does is basically applies a vacuum, which all the air is um, evacuated out and the wax goes in. So if you've ever heard a guitar squeal on stage, it's uh, many times from a pickup that's not potted um, at all or a pickup that's not potted enough. Um, and basically you hit the natural frequency of that vibration, which just gets out of control and those parts are kind of moving a little bit, even though they're, everything's assembled um, and wound tight and taped, um, you still have room for basically the sound coming out of the speaker to, you know, basically interact with those parts in there and make them move, which creates this feedback and then it gets out of control. Um, so wax potting wasn't something that like an old PAF would have, um, back then the amps weren't, you know, super high gain. So once you started having higher gain amps, people playing louder, um, that's where wax potting has really uh, become a necessity for most modern pickups. Great. So some, some pickups like the Seth Lover, um, the Antiquity Humbuckers, if we're really going for a vintage, you know, tone, vintage feel, vintage construction, that's where we will not wax pot them. Yeah. Um, a lot of those will also use butyrate, which is a uh, a plastic that was around in the 50s wasn't the most modern plastic so doesn't really have the uh the tolerance for heat like a, a you know more a more modern plastic would so right. if you put a paf in here um you can you can melt and shrink the coil and really damage it so um when we do special orders and pot those we have a you know a little procedure we do that seems to work pretty well without damaging them but uh it's there's really a fine line there. Yeah, and uh, I can remember back in the day when I was a kid, a friend of mine uh, potting with, I mean, literally had paraffin wax in a coffee can and and destroying a PAF. Yeah, uh, we've, we've seen some, we'll get a, yeah. you know, we've been doing rewind since day one. So every sure. once in a while, hey, I have a PAF that's not working and you get this thing and you're like, oh my, somebody, somebody did something wrong. Yeah, right, right. Right. But um, so the, the wax process, um, I can go through that now if you'd like. Yeah, no, let's yeah. see it. I, uh... So for, for most pickups, we're going to soak the pickup in wax, let that sit a while so that way it can get up to temp and then we'll shut the lid and pull a vacuum. Um, that's like the, you know, full potting procedure. Some other pickups, though, we'll, we'll leave in the wax without the vacuum. So it's kind of a lighter potting. Um, and we have a couple that are in between there. So yeah. here's how that goes. So we have the pickups submerged in there. We'll shut our valve. And then we can see the, the vacuum being pulled here. So we have a vacuum pump down there. Um, takes us somewhere to the vacuum of outer space. So you wouldn't want to be inside the machine. <laughs> right. But, eyes might pop out or something. <laughs> yeah, I've got some of your antiquities and and they, they're they not potted and they're a little microphonic, which I love. Yeah. Because they, they, they're just so alive and you can kind of work and that towards your tone. We had a wax pot with a, like a Lexan top before, which was really cool because you get to see all the bubbles and all the air coming out of that pickup. And oh, yeah. it was like this boiling cauldron of uh, <laughs> humbuckers in there. <laughs> So we'll usually keep it at, uh, what is it, 29 milligrams of mercury. I should get that from Kevin, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so the, the unit of measure for wax. And then we'll leave it there for a you know, certain period of time. And that way that ensures that, you know, based on the pickup we're, we're building, we know what it's gonna take to fully wax pot that. Um, certain pickups, have a little more metal mass, they take longer to heat up, and those might require more time to get the wax, uh, the wax fully you know, impregnated into all the little nooks and crannies in the pickup.